So, this unibrow needs to go. So, I am doing a little bit of packing um, because I actually leave here tomorrow. I'm leaving Florida back to Connecticut. So I'm gonna put you guys down right here and um, we can talk while I pack. And I'm also drinking this really, really good protein shake. I showed you guys the brand, I think, in the previous video, but this brand is so, so good. And this one is in the cinnamon horchata, horchata flavor. And um, this one, I think, is by far the best. Like, I love chocolate, but this one right here is so amazing. All of my horchata fans, you're gonna love this, and it's super healthy. Only four grams of sugar again, 18 grams of protein, and it's amazing. So give this a try. Let me fix this. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to let you guys know what was happening because I want to be as open as I can with you guys. So yeah, I basically have no idea where I'm going to be living, but um, the option of me living where I work, like at the house where I work, is always open. Um, even if it's just for like a week or a couple days. I also may have some friends that have been quarantining um, that I can probably stay with. So there's a lot to figure out and I gotta figure it out soon because I do leave tomorrow. So yeah, at the stay home order, ugh. because of the stay home order, no one can get back in here. Anyone from the tri-state area can't get back into Florida. So um, but I don't think we're going to need to get back in here, honestly. Yeah, so I'm just going to finish doing some packing. I'm really bad at packing, so I'm going to try to Pinterest some ideas on how to pack a bunch of sh** because I have a lot of stuff. Um, but we're going to figure it out, and once I'm done packing, I'll update you guys. I'm going to try to update you guys because I do have the kids today, and it's a really busy day when I have the kids because there's always something to do. I'll update you guys. Um, either later or tomorrow when I leave when I finish packing. Okay, so um, it's a little bit later now and I did finish packing and then I realized I had all this laundry that I had to put in there. I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything because my luggage is already full and I still have like 60% of my clothes to put in there, so I gotta figure that out. I feel like I've been moving around for the longest time, like moving, moving, moving like places and everything, like where I live. Um, so I kind of just want to be in my room. I want to be with my dog. I want to be with my mom and my family. Also, look at this little cutie back here. She literally offered to sweep. Okay, so it's now the next day and we actually are not leaving today because um, the weather where we're headed is actually not so good. So we're going to end up staying an extra day. So we're leaving tomorrow. Um, yeah, so basically I just wanted to update you guys on that and also I just finished watching This really really good show on Netflix. It's called Outer Banks and it's supposed to be one of the best shows on Netflix right now and um, I'm not really like a big show like I don't really like to watch shows one of my friends actually showed it to me And it looked really good. So it's only one season and it has 10 episodes. So um, I'm not sure when the next season's gonna come out, but it's supposed to be coming soon. It's very, very good. And this is what it looks like. It says Outer Banks, and it's honestly amazing. Okay, so um, I'm whispering because I'm out here and it's super early and you can hear everything through these doors. But um, basically, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. So yesterday we were able to leave because um, all the airports are closed due to quarantine and all that. So, um, yeah, so yesterday, um, I didn't really tell you guys why we couldn't leave. So basically, of course, all the airports are still closed. So um, the people that I work for were trying to find um, an airport that was open so that we could land. Um, so we're leaving today. It's, I think, 7.30 in the morning right now. So I'm gonna go inside, make some coffee, um, finish packing, 
and make myself some breakfast to bring on the plane because I still want to be healthy even when I'm on the plane. So yeah, I just showered, I got ready, finished packing, um, wrote a little letter to my niece and nephew because they love when I leave them little letters. It's also Mother's Day, so I really hope that I'm able to go home today. I got my mom a card, so I'm really excited and hopefully I can go home and see her. So we'll see about that, but even if I can't, I totally understand. And I'm gonna go inside now and make some healthy breakfast that I can bring on the plane. So I'm gonna go inside.
Okay, so... Just got to the house where I work, um, here in Connecticut, and, um... I can't go home, so I'm gonna be living here for... I don't know how long. And, of course, I'm grateful to have a house and a place to live. Um, but I am a little upset because I can't see my mom on Mother's Day, and... And, um... I don't know, I just miss my dog, I miss my parents, I miss my room and everything, but, and I try to look at the best and everything, so we'll see. Um, I don't know, I just feel weird, I feel a little confused, um, but I don't know. My mom and dad are so cute, they dropped me off my favorite food, which are Guatemalan enchiladas, and gonna have that for dinner they dropped it off and i was able to give her her card her mother's day card so i'm gonna go have some of this okay so i'm in bed it's currently 8 p.m and i'm just chilling with these guys here i got lulu right there i'm just gonna watch some youtube and do some editing so i am probably gonna have some dessert or something sweet i'm probably gonna have i have one of these go macro bars and i got it from the plane so they look pretty good. It says vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. So I'm going to give it a try and um, I'll have this for dessert maybe. Actually, I saved this from the plane and I absolutely love having one of these on the plane. But I didn't have it because I had my yogurt. So I'm going to have it for dessert. And I'm very excited because they're so good. And yeah, so. Mm -mm. So, um, before I call it a night, I just kind of wanted to explain to you guys kind of what's going on and why I can't go home. So basically, um, since my mom got the virus, as most of you guys know, um, she got the virus, so um, there's a chance. I mean, um, she did test negative about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, um, but the people that I work for don't want to take any chances, which I completely understand. Um, I wouldn't want to put anyone at risk anyway, like for me to go home and bring it to work. And... Um, I completely understand that and um, I just wish I was able to be with my mom and my dad and my dog and in my room but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and I'm very grateful that I have a place to live and um, that they open their doors for me and let me stay here and that I'm able to cuddle with these little cuties and I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be okay and um, We'll just take it day by day and see how everything goes. Yeah, so I really honestly have no clue what's really going on. But the most important part is that we're all safe and that we're all healthy. And that I have a place to stay. And um, yeah, we'll just figure it out from there and just take it day by day.